This is verse 28 of the 8th chapter, Gospel of Matthew. We've just finished the account of Jesus calming the storm, and now Matthew picks up the account as they've reached the other side of the Sea of Galilee uh, with the following well-known stories, so Kai the connective, Elphontos, from Erkabai, uh, I come or I go, this is a participle, it's a genitive participle because it's part of a genitive absolute, this is the aorist, uh, genitive singular, uh, in the masculine because it goes with the subject, the subject is out to, translated he, uh, because the genitive absolute, uh, both the uh, participle and the uh, uh, subject are in the genitive, so he having come would be the idea. Uh, ace preposition takes the accusative, here is to peron. Uh, this is an indeclinable ad adverb, into the side uh, would be the notion, and then ace, once again, tain koron. Uh, into the side, into the vicinity or the country, the region. Uh, Tone uh, Gadarenon of the Gadarenes. So this is on the east side of the uh, Sea of Galilee. It's a region that's fairly well known. And uh, so he having come into the side of Galilee, into the region of the Gadarenes, this is the Decapolis area, uh, who pay san who paintes san this is from hupo anti two words hupo means under uh, ordinarily anti can mean instead of or against taken together idiomatically it means to meet uh, to uh, encounter other to be against other something like that it's not quite literal but uh, the notion is there met him with a little bit of an antagonistic notion uh, suggested by the choice of the words here so they met, uh, auto takes the dative, this is the dative singular uh, pronoun, so um, uh, they met him, this is the third person uh, plural, uh, aorist active indicative. Uh, duo, the adjective means two, daimonizomenoi from uh, daimonizomai, uh, of course, it's uh, based on the word for demon. This is a verb form of it in the middle voice, and so it means to be demon-possessed. This is a participle. Uh, this is the uh, uh, nominative plural. So they met him, two demon-possessed ones, ones possessed of demons. Uh, and uh, ek, preposition, takes the genitive tone, uh, neon, out of the tombs. Uh, really, li literally reading out of as if coming out of these particular tombs. It may just mean out of the region of the tombs or out of individual tombs. We don't quite know which, but in one way or another, this seems to have been their habitation coming out and then exercomenoi, coming out uh, of them. Again, the same preposition here. So they're originating from these tombs. Uh, Kale poi, uh, this is a... Um, uh, adjective, it means very fierce, and then it's uh, accentuated by Leon, an ind indeclinable adverb that means very, very fierce. So uh, these were uh, somewhat uh, impressive characters, these two, hosta, so that. Then we have a, uh, an infinitive construction here, uh, may, uh, not, used with non-indicative moods as we have here, and then iskuane. Uh, this is to be strong, uh, it's uh, the infinitive, aorist infinitive, so not to be strong. Uh, tena is in the accusative because in this construction the subject of the infinitive will be in the accusative, so uh, not a person, a man, strong. This person cannot be strong. Uh, Perelfane, in order to. Um, uh, this is the uh, notion of uh, passing along, per erkamai, to go along, to come along. Uh, this person is not able to pass along, dia, through, with the genitive tes hodu, the way, akenes, that way. So these two uh, demon-possessed characters are so fierce that uh, anyone attempting to travel along the road that Jesus was apparently on at this point uh, would be unable to do so. They would be prevented by these madmen possessed of uh, evil spirits. 
Uh, of course, other accounts of this only mention one of them, uh, but that uh, does not necessarily mean there may not have been two or even more, but uh, these two are the ones who now come out and encounter and confront Jesus as he's making his way along.